Uh, before we get into the Apple stuff, let's have let's have a have a little fun. Shall okay. Backlog. 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 Hey guys, backlog time! It's that time again! It's that time again! Yeah! Backlog time! If you're unfamiliar Yay. with how this works, every game we have ever bought throughout our entire lives uh, gets put into a uh, Excel spreadsheet. And today we're going to pick one of those games at random and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we played it. Currently we have 900 and what now? 900. Period, 900. Yeah. Okay. And... Had a random number generator. We got 496. 496. Will's going to pull that from our Excel spreadsheet. Oh, boy. Uh, it's definitely a game we haven't played. PsyOps of the Mindgate Conspiracy for the PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2. Oh, yeah. why do we have this? I, this is definitely a game I bought. I bought it. You bought. I bought so it. So you got a lot of explaining after to After the fact. This this is one of those games that came out around that around the PlayStation 2 era. This is this is the prime example of a double A game. Cuz it wasn't okay. made it was made by Midway, but this wasn't like one of their top tier franchises. Long this Island's own Midway? That's a claim. Fuck. Chicago's <laughs> own Midway. <laughs> um so this wasn't like Midway's like top tier franchise. It wasn't Mortal Kombat or anything. This was like a new a new property with a unique gimmick where like you know you're a, you have like psychokinetic abilities you can grab people and like you know you see you have force powers basically yeah yeah but you're like you know a cool military bro this guy who's doing the gameplay on screen right now really wants to do the the force abilities he's yeah. trying really hard not to shoot anybody well i mean cuz that was like a unique gimmick at the yeah. time you know it was it wasn't really like the era of first person and third person shooters, but it was definitely like the Halo era, and it was the the time period where games were trying to get more like serious and more like you know quote unquote realistic. And this game came along like, and it was of that ilk, but it had like the unique you know ability to like you know grab things with your mind and like throw them at people, use the environment against. So your... what year was this? This was two thousand and four. So this was after uh, the Kyle Katarin games. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because they, that's, when I think Force abilities back in yeah. the day, those are the games, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, the Dark Force, well, Jedi Knight. Jedi Knight <laughs> yeah. and uh, uh, Jedi Academy. Yeah. Well, I mean, what's what also helped this game too, according to the Wikipedia, uh, was its ragdoll physics powered by the Havoc 2 system. So it wasn't just like that you were grabbing dudes and throwing them. Like they were, like you can see here, like they're, he's ragdollizing all over the place. Um, this game was actually very well received when it came out. It was one of those, like, not sleeper hits, but it was one of those games where, like, it got good reviews across the board. People who played it, like, always, like, in hushed tones, like, you know, have, have you played PsyOps? Mm -hmm. You should try PsyOps. PsyOps is really good, man. Did, did they ever make a sequel? No. Mm -hmm. Um, I think this was one of those games. Midway went out of business, like, not too long after this. They got bought by Warner Brothers. Um, so we'll never see a sequel to this. Um, there were talks of a sequel. They wanted to do a sequel, but it's too late. It's way too You're late. You're never yeah. going to see a sequel for this game. Yeah. Um, and I think what sucks is a lot of the things that, you know, this game was doing, you know, I think a lot, especially nowadays, people are like, oh, so I'll just play a Star Wars game. But like, yeah, this, that's, what, that's but, what I'm thinking when I'm seeing this. But like a Star Wars game, if you have these powers, you're probably a Jedi and you're probably going to have a lightsaber. This one gives you a gun. <laughs> yeah, but like again, uh, Jedi Knight. Yeah, you get a gun and and Jedi <laughs> abilities. True. You know, you can yeah. do it all. But I mean, this is like clearly like a gritty uh, rated M. I assume uh, you're shooting I people in their yes, blood rated, and stuff. Rated M for mature. Looks like people are being tortured. Yeah. Uh, why did you get this? And when did you get it? I I definitely got it like years after the PS2 okay. was relevant. Uh, I got it because I had heard. I mean, have, have you played Saps? Saps is really good, man. You, should play Saps. you bought it and then you never played, and never played it. it. And never played so, it. That's the that's the problem. You're gonna see that a lot on this show. We just buy games at conventions and like not play it. That's the backlog, baby. Yeah. We don't sometimes we don't 
know why we bought things. <laughs> I do have this like big grand idea that like, you know, when I hit retirement age, I'm just going to I'm actually going to go through the backlog and like at least play everything for at least like an hour mm -hmm. just like to try it. And will that ever happen? Pro I'll probably be dead by then, honestly. <laughs> I had a years ago I had a big grandiose idea where I wanted to uh uh I wanted to start like a like a Patreon for a YouTube channel where it was just you know how there's like world of long plays yeah and it just they play every game yeah I wanted that I wanted to do that but have it be the highest quality uh capture possible right so just have a guy beat every game yeah. and capture the whole thing at the highest quality possible and let the footage be used freely by anybody. Yeah. I thought that would be cool. That would be great. Yeah. Uh, so let us know in the comments if you want to see a yeah. YouTube channel that just does that. Uh, PlayStation 2 uh, was, I think, the first time you bought the PlayStation 2. It was the first time like we had money yes. of our own I, to buy a console. I bought, I mean, we didn't have a lot of money. I bought it pre-owned from GameStop. But it was a great purchase because it came with like Metal Gear um, and we were able to we bought it fairly late. We got it like, I think, 2003, 2004. But, you know, back then there weren't as many games and we had much more time. So we were able to fill out the back catalog of like all the games we missed. Yeah. And like in like two years, we played like all the major, you know, PS2 games. Our parents uh, would never allow us to have more than one console per generation. Correct. So this is the first time. We took a stand. We took a stand. <laughs> and well, you had you had a job. Yeah. So you uh, you 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 uh, used your own money to buy a PlayStation yep. Two. Um, and there you go. Pre-owned. Uh, Pre-owned. I mean, we had to do what we had to do. Yeah. And then uh, I played Burnout and had a good time on yeah. it. Yeah. And Metal Gear. And Metal Gear. Guys, that's been the backlog. Yep. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more backlog. Also, come to a podcast sometime. We do these on the Wolf Den podcast. Bye. Bye.